So this time we're going to talk about Access 2010. In Access 2007, using macros and setting conditions in your macro is very, very easy. Very, very user-friendly to me. Um, in 2010, it's not so user-friendly. I was asked a question about turning a record false in a macro. In 2007, it was very easy because and there was a conditions tab. You could just type false in the conditions tab. But in 2010, that condition tab is gone. And I haven't found a way to enable it yet. So my workaround is to take the record that you want to be false, right click on it, and make it an if block. Once you make it an if block, you can set the condition to false. And when you want to turn it back on, turn it back to true, and there you go. The next shots will show you how to do that on the computer screen. Thanks for watching. So you have access open. You open the macro that you would like to use. Go to the record that you would like to make false. Right click on it. And then scroll down to where it says make if block and choose that. And then in the top in the if condition, if expression, type in false. And click away to save the changes. And there you go. Once you run the macro, you will see that that record will be skipped. Now when it's time to use that condition again, remove the false and just turn it back to true. And if you actually don't want to have it even be an if condition anymore, you simply select it and then on the right you see the little green arrow, click on the up arrow and you'll see that the if block is now underneath it. You can delete it and there you go. Now the if block is gone. Thanks for watching.